हेलो बच्चों वेलकम बैक टू योर फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल लर्निंग साइंस विद सीके बच्चों टिल नाउ वी हैव स्टडीड चैप्टर वन दैट इज न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट्स एंड चैप्टर टू न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल्स ऑफ योर क्लास सेवन साइंस बुक ओके एनसीईआरटी बुक एंड आई होप दैट यू ऑल आर पेइंग अटेंशन प्रॉपरली एंड यू ऑल आर लर्निंग वॉट एवर आई एम टीचिंग यू एंड आई नीड योर 100% परसेंट इन्वॉल्वमेंट इन दिस अदरवाइज आई कांट बी एबल टू हेल्प यू ओके सो प्लीज बच्चो इन्वॉल्व योर सेल्फ इन स्टडी वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज एटलीस्ट थ्री टू फाइव टाइम्स ओके रिवाइज यू ऑल द टॉपिक्स नोट डाउन द पॉइंट ओके पॉज द वीडियो वेन एवर यू फील दैट आई नीड टू वॉच दिस अगेन और लिसन इट अगेन ओके सो by doing these small activities you can be comfortable and you can learn all the points all the knowledge whatever is there in your first and second chapter okay and till uh, if then also you have any issue please comment okay write your issue in the comment box so that it will reach to me and i will be able to solve your issues in the next video okay so today i am going to start the third chapter that is fiber to fabrics okay here in this chapter we will study about the how what is fiber and from where we are getting these fibers and uh, sources then the utilization what is the importance of these in our life how fiber is made to fabric the whole process we will learn in this chapter okay and many more things are also there in this chapter so enjoy your study with me in this chapter okay and open your book okay i am going to start it in your uh, ncert book third chapter fiber to fabrics okay now come to the book okay hello bachcho as i told you we are going to study fiber to fabrics okay so in class 6 you have already learned that fibers are obtained from plants and also you have learned that fibers that is wool and silk is obtained from animals so plants and animals both are the sources of fibers and fibers is used for making textiles and woolen clothes okay various types of textiles so wool wool is obtained from fleece fleece is what the hair hair is called fleece of of whose hair hair of sheep or yak is called fleece okay silk fibers silk fibers as you know it is it come from cocoons 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 are made by silk moth okay do you know which part of the sheep body yield fibers yes we all know that is fleece or hair okay are you aware how these fibers are converted into the woolen yarn that we buy from the market to knit sweaters oh we don't know but we are going to learn that how fibers are converted processed to wool to make woolen clothes sweaters and various textiles do you know have any idea how silk fibers are made into silk yes we don't know but we are going to learn this also that how silk fibers are made into silk okay and again which is woven into sarees sarees are made using silk so silk sarees are made using silk fibers okay now we are going to study animal fibers and animal fibers are wool and silk so first of all we will study wool we will study that from where which animals are providing us wool and how we are processing wool okay from the fleece of these animals wools come from sheep goat yak and some other animals as much you know that wool come from 
शीत गोट याक एंड सम अदर एनिमल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल्स आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल्स आर अंगोरा गोट गोट याक कैमल अल्पाका एंड लामा दीज ऑल आर द सोर्सेस ऑफ ऊल ओके एनिमल सोर्सेस ऑफ ऊल अगेन डू यू नो वाई दीज एनिमल्स हैव ए थिक कोट ऑफ हेयर यस वी नो वाई इट प्रोटेक्ट देम फ्रॉम कोल्ड हाउ इट प्रोटेक्ट देम फ्रॉम कोल्ड हेयर ट्रैप ए लॉट ऑफ हेयर वॉट हैपेन्स the hairs present in the body of the say protect them that trap airs inside okay they trap air inside and you know that air is a poor conductor of heat so whatever the heat generated inside the body does not goes outside so in this way animals protect themselves by saving their heat body heat okay so hair keep them warm okay and wool is derived from these hairy fibers this is helpful in the winter season but when summer comes we are we can take the fleece from these animals because at that time they have no Uh, they do not have to suffer from cold weather is normal so we can use it now activity 3.1 what is the activity feel the hair on your body and arm and those on your head okay everybody touch your hairs on your body and arm what you feel do you find any difference yes there is a major difference and difference is that the hairs present in our head is coarse coarse thick okay and the hair on our body is soft same like that these sheep and other animals have two types of fibers okay and first is coarse beard hair and second is fine soft under hair and this find soft under hair is present close to the skin so very close to the skin the fleece found is fine soft hair and in the other regions the hairs present is coarse beard hair okay okay bachcho the fine hair that provide the fiber for making wool so mainly wool that is used to make sweaters is being made from the fine hairs that is the under hair okay close to their skin okay so these fine hairs are used for making woolen clothes some breeds of sheep possess only fine under hair okay you know that uh, some species of sheep are very uh, high quality and they provide only fine under hair and their wool is very costly also okay so their how, how these species or these variety breeds are being made by their parents are specially chosen to give birth to sheep which have only soft under hair so to get only soft under hair breed uh, parents of the these varieties are used for interbreeding okay or cross breeding cross breeding and uh, one of them should have of very high breed okay this process of selecting parents for obtaining special characters in their offspring okay so this is a process that is called selective breeding and it is what selecting a special uh, high quality breed for reproduction is called selective breeding okay so this process of selecting parents for 
obtaining special characters in their offspring such as soft under here in shape is termed as selective breeding so to get high quality wool the breeds which have soft under here are used for cross breeding okay now we will study the animals that yield wool so there are several breeds of sheep are found in different part of the country okay but however the fleece of sheep is not the only source of wool there are so many other oh, oh, wool is uh, available in the market and where from we are getting it we are getting it from the other animals like yak okay and yak are found yak wool is uh, common in which region it is common in tibet and ladakh okay then angora wool is obtained from angora goats okay and these are found in the hilly regions of jammu and kashmir and this angora goats are a special breed which provide fine under here and that is used to make fine wool now wool is also obtained from goat hair the under fur of kashmiri goat is soft okay i have already shown you the kashmiri goat here you can see the other varieties here these are the goat and one is angora goat and its other goat which provide high quality of wool to us okay and one of them is kashmiri goat okay here is the also there is the picture of angora goat and other goat kashmiri goat okay now it is woven into fine shawl called pashmina shawl so pashmina shawl is a special shawl is being made using the soft under here of kashmiri goat okay so this is one of one point here you should know and you should learn okay kashmiri goat provide we are using kashmiri goat for this okay okay bachcho the fur that is fur is what that is here on the body of camel is also used as wool okay so the fur present on the body of camel okay in the some part of the body fur is present and that is also what used as wool okay and other than camel goat and sheep and yak llama okay and alpaca llama and alpaca both are the south american origin animals that also provide a soul okay i am going to show you the original picture of llama and alpaca both almost very uh, almost looking similar but they are both different species alpaca and llama okay now here is an activity to do and the activity is that collect pictures of animal whose hairs is used as wool okay you have to collect the pictures of some animals that provide us wool otherwise you have to do first of all you collect the pictures and then what you will do stick them in your scrap book okay you just uh, purchase your scrap book for science and paste these animals pictures by labeling them naming them okay in your scrap book and if if you are unable to get pictures try and draw them from the one given in the book okay if you didn't get the pictures then here is the pictures of all the animals and also as i have shown you these are the animals okay you can draw their pictures by showing 
my video okay by watching my video and then you can paste them in your scrapbook okay next find out words of shape goat and camel and yak in your local language there is a task for you that you found you find you visit your nearby places if some animals among them is uh, found in your area then go and ask and get the names what are the names used to call them okay what are the names used for them and also you have to find out their language a name in the other languages in our, our country so you can take the help of internet for this okay now one more activity you have procure outline map of india and the world first of all you procure or make a outline map of india or world and then find out and mark the places on the map where you find animals that provide wool okay it's a not very difficult task you all can do it in this way see here just make a outline of your country okay and you write the names of the state and the variety breed found in that region that is used for getting wools for example in jammu and kashmir kashmiri goat are found okay they provide us wool kashmiri goat sheep also found there then in the haryana yak that is uh, himachal pradesh in the region of himachal pradesh yak is found okay then in uttar pradesh goat is found goat provide us wool then madhya pradesh maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu and andhra pradesh in this region sheep are found normally sheep are found all over the country but these are the major region where herd of sheep is found and that is reared for producing wool and meat okay now in the western region that is rajasthan and gujarat in the thar desert area camels are found and that are also the source of wool now come to the next point now we are going to learn that how first of all we get the uh, hairs soft hairs from these animals that is called fleece now task is there to convert the these fibers to wool and this is a very long process we are going to learn here okay so first of all to get the fibers what we have to do or what the persons have to do is rearing and breeding of sheep first of first important thing is that rearing and breeding of sheep and uh, rearing and breeding is done in which regions if you travel in the hills in jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh uttaranchal arunachal pradesh and sikkim or the plain of haryana punjab rajasthan and gujarat you can see shepherds shepherds are who those who are rearing sheep and other animals for various purpose okay shepherds if you visit these areas you will found shepherds they are taking their herds of sheep for grazing okay because these animals are eating grass sheep are herbivores sheep and others whoever provide us wool uh, most of them are most of them not 100% of them are herbivores okay and they prefer grass and leaves apart from grazing sheep rearers also feed them on a mixture of pulse corn jowar and oil cakes so Uh, along with the grass these shepherds provide pulses corn jowar and oil cakes to their sheep 
Why? Because these are the source of protein and protein is essential for making hairs. Okay. So these materials, uh, where we are getting these materials, these materials are left out after taking oils from the seeds. Okay. And among them, other minerals are also provided. Okay. What happens in the season of winter? Sheep are kept indoor. They are kept in indoor, okay, in their homes, in the shepherd home. And they are provided leaves, grains, and dry fodder because outside there is no more source of grasses and other leaves and other food for these sheep, okay, because of winter season. Now, sheep are reared in many part of our country for wool yes we know we have already already seen in the outline of india also that in most of the part of the india these animals are found and these are reared for wool and these gives the names of here in this uh, table we have the names of the breed breed of which species sheep okay sheep animal we have uh, uh, some names of the breed and the quality of wool they are providing and the state we will find them as I have told you earlier that uh, special breeds are used by the process of selective breeding for the production of good quality of wool so here we are going to narrate some names of the breed the quality of wool they are providing and state where we will found them. So first among them is Lohi. So Lohi is Lohi is a breed of sheep which provide us good quality of wool. Okay. And these are found in the region of Rajasthan and Punjab. Next breed is Rampur Bushire. Okay. Rampur Bushire. They provide brown flesh. Okay. Brown flesh. And they are found in the region of Uttar Pradesh, Himachal. Okay. Third breed is Nali. Okay. Nali breed are providers carpet wool. The wool used for making carpet and other textiles. And, uh, and these are found in the region of Rajasthan, Haryana and Punjab. Where we found them? Rajasthan, Haryana and Punjab. Fourth breed is Bhakarwal. And this breed provides us wool and shawl. The wool which we get from Bhakarwal ship is used to make wool and shawl. Okay. And these breeds are found in Jammu and Kashmir. Okay. Next breed is Marwadi and Marwadi breed is found in the region of Gujarat and they provide us coarse wool, coarse thick hairs, they provide us thick wool, okay, used for carpet and other things making. Then last breed which we are going to learn here is Patanwali. Patanwali provide us hosiery wool, okay the wool which is used to make hosiery okay and in the state where we found them is gujarat okay now now we are going to study the processing of fibers into wool as i told you earlier that from fibers to get wool is a long process and now we are going to learn how to process fibers into wool so first step under it is that first of all the flesh of the sheep along with a thin layer of skin is removed from its body so first step is removal of flesh from the body of sheep along with a thin layer of skin and this process is called shearing okay nowadays shearing is done using machines Okay. Next thing is that when this shearing is done, this is done during hot weather. Okay. So that 
they will not suffer from cold and this enable sheep to survive without their protective coat because of hot weather and this hair provide woolen fiber shearing does not hurt the sheep just as it does not hurt when you get a hair cut or your father shave his beard okay you most of you may think that it may hurt the sheep but it doesn't happens because as usually you are taking hair cut and your father doing shaving and they are not uh, hurt the same way shearing is done okay next step step 2 in the step 2 this step is called scoring and scoring is what shep washing okay the sheared skin with hair is thoroughly washed okay and this shearing that is called scoring you can see here that the first step that is done is shearing okay removal of the fleece along with thin layer of skin and after that scoring is done in tank and scoring is what this is a washing process okay and washing process of uh, fleece is called scoring next step step 3 is called shorting shorting is what <clears throat> the hairy skin is sent to a factory where hair of different textures are separated or sorted okay in uh, shorting what is done in shorting different types of hairs are being separated for different purpose okay and this separation is called shorting scoring process is done manually and by machines also okay third was what we have done is sorting and after sorting step 4 comes and step 4 is what removal of small fluffy fibers as these small fluffy fibers you can understand uh, it happens in your uh, sweaters also that ball shaped fluffy fibers arises okay and their removal is very important so that the fibers which we get from these other processes will be of fine quality and that will not mixed up okay so small removal of small fluffy fibers that is called burr okay are picked out from the hair okay and what is this this are the same burr which sometimes appear on your sweater okay you can find out it in your sweaters these burrs okay after this the fibers are scored again and right okay after this scoring process is again done okay and then they are again dried this is the wool ready to be drawn into fiber so this is about the taking uh, removal of uh, hairs that is called shearing then sorting that is wash uh, scoring that is the washing process then sorting separation then uh, removal of fluffy fibers and again scoring is done and after these all processes our fiber is ready to make wool our wool is going to be ready step 4 step 4 is the fibers can be dyed in various colors okay or normally what happens that what the fleece natural fleece we are getting from sheep are of limited colors for example black brown and white and by dyeing we can make varieties of colors okay varieties of colors of fibers step 6 step 6 is what the fibers are straightened combed and rolled okay into yarn this is the process rolling into yarn bachcho ye this process is very important so that they will not coagulate they will not mixed up okay and that uh, can formation fiber to 
many fibers here are used to make yarn okay and yarn is the next step for making wool the longer fibers are made into wool for sweaters and the shorter fibers are spun and woven into woolen cloth okay so whatever the long fibers we are getting from these uh, wool is used to make what sweaters knitting sweaters and the small fibers are used to uh, for they are used to woven into woolen cloth okay for other purpose now if we uh, summarize this process the process is what first process shearing then scoring then shorting then cleaning a burr again scoring then dyeing and last is rolling okay now this is what we have studied in this uh, chapter till now okay and uh, one thing i have to i should include is occupational hazard occupational hazard is what in industrial in industry what happens many people are working okay and the disease they get from their job because of their work is called occupational hazard okay more important important thing is that in the wool industry the sorters the sorters are who, who those who are doing shorting okay shorting they are the person who are being affected from the bacterium okay the bacterium and its name is anthrax these bacteriums are found in the uh, where they are found they are found in the flesh of the sheep and other animals okay so what the sorter's job is very risky sometimes because they are getting infected by the bacterium anthrax okay which causes a fatal blood disease that is called sorter's disease this is very fatal bachu because it is very dangerous and death may happen okay so this anthrax uh bacterium causes sorter's disease and it's very risky okay and this is being faced by workers in any industry are called occupational hazard okay so such type of risk which is faced by workers in any industry is called occupational hazard okay okay bachcho uh, uh, for today i am stopping here okay next day we will study about the silk moth silk silk is the which we are getting for making uh, sarees and various textiles okay so next day we will learn about the silk and the uh, animal that the insect from which we are getting this silk is called silk moth and we will learn the life history of silk moth okay and also the other part of the, this chapter that is left here okay cocoon from cocoon formation and from cocoon to getting silk this will be covered in the next chapter okay so that's all for today bachcho and uh, i request you to please uh, watch this video two three times five times six times okay so that you will be you will face feel convenient and learn all the topics all the terms easily okay and also tell to your friends whoever in class 7 to watch this video because in this lockdown period uh, many of your friends are suffering and they don't have any source of education so i am just trying to help them all okay so thank you bachcho and if you are in for the first time you came to my channel please subscribe the channel so that the next video which i am uploading every alternate day in the morning 6 o'clock you will get the video okay so please be with me for your education for your science education and i promise you that i will support you from the best way i can do okay bachcho thank you very much thank you once again i will meet in the next video okay 
after this one day okay in the at the morning 6 am so once again thank you bye bye